Most people are familiar with the concept of extinction. It's the end of a particular group of organisms, usually a species. But what is a mass extinction? A mass extinction represents a sharp increase in the rate at which species go extinct over a short period of time, and this results in a huge and prolonged reduction in global biodiversity. When did mass extinctions happen? Paleontologists can work this out by counting the number of species that permanently disappear from the fossil record at any point in time. When we plot biodiversity over the last 500 million years, we see a number of prominent dips where extinction is very high. These are the mass extinction events, and the most severe of these are known as the Big Five. The largest of the Big Five was the late Permian mass extinction, which happened 252 million years ago and wiped out as much as 95% of species on land and in the sea. This event, known widely as the Great Dying, represents the closest life has come to complete annihilation in the last 500 million years. One of the biggest questions surrounding mass extinctions is what could possibly cause such widespread death and devastation? There are a number of potential causes, including extraterrestrial meteorite impacts and gamma ray bursts from nearby supernovas. However, the most compelling causes come from much closer to home and are associated with rapid changes to global climate. The most severe mass extinctions are associated with massive volcanic eruptions called large igneous provinces. These erupted across entire continents for tens of thousands of years. These huge volcanic eruptions cause prolonged and dramatic changes to the global climate by the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This drove rapid global warming, the removal of oxygen from the oceans and the acidification of ocean waters, as well as other gases destroying ozone and creating acid rain as strong as vinegar. All of these factors caused a cascade of environmental effects which happened too quickly for organisms to cope with. This drove many species to extinction and ultimately led to the collapse of ecosystems on a global scale. Mass extinctions have been incredibly important in shaping the history of life on Earth. After the loss of most of the species on the planet, so-called disaster taxa proliferate in an empty world of sparse resources. These species are the pioneers that are able to eke out an existence in a harsh world of limited resources. The most famous of these disaster species is Lystrosaurus, which was the largest animal to survive the late Permian mass extinction. This pig-sized mammal-like reptile could be found all over the globe in the aftermath of the event. As the Earth recovers from these extinction events, new species evolve into the ecological roles or niches left vacant by the species that went extinct. This represents a restructuring of the biosphere, which ultimately changes the course of evolution. A key example of this is in the aftermath of the cretaceous paleogene mass extinction 66 million years ago, when the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs allows the mammals to establish themselves as the dominant group of large terrestrial animals. Mass extinctions are relevant to human society in two ways. Firstly, without the mass extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, it's uncertain as to whether our small, tree-dwelling primate ancestor would have been able to establish itself as a large, ground-dwelling species, which ultimately led to the Homo lineage. Secondly, it's now widely accepted that we are pushing our planet towards another mass extinction via over-exploitation, habitat destruction and anthropogenic climate change. We are already seeing the first signs of this through the extinction of vulnerable species, the collapse of populations and regional ecosystems and reductions in species geographic ranges. So, without the series of mass extinctions that have rocked the planet, or if each extinction event had had a different set of survivors, it's uncertain as whether our species would have even had the chance to evolve. But, ironically, we are now, as a species, pushing our planet towards another mass extinction through our own negative influence on the wider Earth system.